Hey guys, back at you here with another somewhat of a tech review video. So I picked up this uh, Corsair Scimitar uh, Pro RGB mouse. Um, and I gotta say, this thing is crazy. I was trying to play Fortnite with my kid and I c just couldn't get my fingers, you know, fast enough on the keys. And thought, what the heck, I'm gonna try quote unquote cheating a little bit. So I picked up this guy. And I gotta say, holy cow, it's got super crazy adjustable DPI settings. I think right out of the box, it's um, 800 on the lowest and 12,000 on the for the uh, highest. And I like it about 800 for with especially having you know a fairly large surface to to play on. But it is awesome because you can totally customize all these keys to whatever you want. Uh, these top buttons here are for your DPI settings. You can program them to whatever you want. Then of course your your click, but uh, this guy here is actually adjustable. So if you got smaller hands, you can actually slide it for, I think it's, what did I read? Uh, eight millimeters or something, it can slide forward. So it's great and it's got the Teflon feet. So it slides like like glass on here. Like it's, it's incredible, but um, yeah, and then the, the software that it comes with, um, where are we here? Let me find IQ, this guy here. So they got their their own program, obviously, from Corsair. And you can select different profiles. I forget how many profiles you can put in here, but it's quite a few. I think it's eight, eight different profiles. And you can select all your... You know what you want your your buttons to do like this is how I've mapped out my buttons uh, your lighting effects you can change obviously there's dozens of different patterns you can do solid colors um, your DPI settings performance honestly I don't know what any of this stuff is so I didn't screw with it <laughs> um, but there's a lot of other settings that I know nothing about like polling rate I'm sure all you gamers probably know what that's about but um, I just wanted to kind of put out my two cents about what it feels like like I've been using a Logitech just a uh, I think it was called um, MP502 mouse it was nothing fancy it was just an old school you know two button but after switching to this wow like I went from getting you know one to two eliminations in a match to now I'm, you know, eight, nine, ten eliminations. Uh, the second day of using this, uh, I got four wins, uh, four solo wins, and then a couple of duo wins. So it just goes to show that using a good mouse actually does make a difference. So I've programmed, like, these front buttons here, one, two, three, are uh, floor, wall, and ramp, and then... Four, five, six are my, or actually four, five, six, seven are my first four weapons, and then number six, no, sorry, number nine is my um, fifth slot. Number eight being my reload, um, and then uh, crouch on number eleven, just because it's easy to get at. And uh, I'm gonna change it so crouch is on ten and reload is on twelve. And then I'm not sure what I'm going to put on 11 yet. I, I may even just leave it blank. Um, we'll see. But yeah, it's got the nice little uh, indentation or I'm not sure what the texture on uh, key number five. So you can always feel where your finger's at. Um, you can program the lights to do whatever you want. Like you can have each zone do something different. So yeah, I got to say I'm, I'm very impressed with this mouse. 
uh, thus far. Uh, if you're in the market, ch check them out. Uh, Amazon had them. I think I seen them for about seventy bucks. Unfortunately, I'm in Canada, and this was one hundred and fifty bucks for us. But yeah, um, and also picked up the uh, thirty inch cloth mouse pad. I'll be doing a video on that shortly here. But yeah, if you're in the market for a mouse. I highly recommend the Corsair Scimitar Pro RGB. Check them out. Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe.